In today's video, we're going to go over some Botania, how to get started in Botania. All the Mod 6 to the sky is the pack that we're playing. We're going to talk about growing coal, taking the coal, turning that into mana, and showing you every step of the way. If you're new to Skyblocks, if you're new to Botania, this is a video to check out for you. This is a tube and knuckle production. Sit down and shut up. Don't forget to subscribe. Bounce. And I want to get into some Botania. And in order to do Botania, from what I remember, you need a boatload of coal. Turn that into mana. So but right now I'm setting up a little coal field. We've got a harvester here, which harvests these plants. This absorption hopper picks them up. Shoots it into this crafter, which I have it right now, upping it to the block of coal. Pretty simple setup. And then the, re the remainder of what it picks up, the seeds and this pink stuff, just gets shot into these drawers. And then I'll put void cards on them to eliminate. Because we don't need an exuberant amount of that. We just need a decent amount of coal. I right, figured some things out. So how do you get the flowers you need for Botania when there is no flowers? You got to make floral fertilizer. Click that on the ground, boom, the Botania flowers appear. Easiest way to hold all these flowers is inside a flower pouch. Botania, five pieces of wool, one of the petals, boom, you got yourself a flower pouch. This is kind of cool because it shows you every flower for mystical every mystical type of flower and then you can see if you have every color that you need and you can see if you need to keep on throwing some fertilizer down the ground so the only one we're missing is the white one which we need to get started so let's keep popping this down so we get some white Dog's kind of in the way. Boom, we got a white one. Let's go. All right, now that we got every flower color that we need, I want to duplicate the white flower because I want to make some pure daisies so that we can make living wood to get mana spreaders to start this mana production process. So to do that, you can take... I need the white flower. Take the flower, put it into a crafter or your inventory, and you get the petals, right? Plant the petals in the ground, and if you bone meal each one, and then take some shears, you get tall plants, right? Put them in there, boom, quadruple the amount of petals to turn these petals into the pure daisy, you need to make petal apothecary. Here's a crafting recipe for that. Boom, pull one of them out. And let's set up an area where we can do this. All right, before we get too crazy, making them pure daisies. What I want to do is I set up these drawers. I'm going to put every color petal in here. So we'll go through the flower pouch one, one flower at a time. Get the petals, bone meal them, do the same process, shear them, and then fill this up. It'll make it easier as we progress through Botania, making the runes and everything else process can be a little time consuming and you also go through a boatload of bone meal. I want to say I've gone through probably 600 pieces of bone meal so far, but as long as you just keep it rolling, it's worth it in the long run. I've done it, played Botania without doing it this way and you end up running around finding shears, finding a bone meal. So while you have it all in your hands, it's better off just to do it now. Keep duplicating all these, get them set up. Get yourself set up for success. Wondering where I'm getting all this bone meal from. I did a little video before. A little mob farm. Simple. Easy. It's really doing well. I got 16,000 bones in here right now. And it's only been running for like a day or two. So check that out if you like. Chill. We got all the petals set up. We got room in these crates here for all the different runes that you can make in here. So let's make up some pure daisies. I got a sink over here. I got the petal of pot to carry right next to it. So all you got to do is you throw four of these puppies in there, seed, and boom, 
you got yourself a pure daisy. So let's put this down. We're going to put it right here. And then what do you do with the pure daisy? Take some oak logs, whatever kind of logs you're working with. Put it around the perimeter of it. And you'll get that particle effect. And in time, it'll turn it into what we're looking for, living wood. All right, easy. Hold to mine. A couple hits with the axe, boom. You got yourself some living wood. Do it again a couple times. I think I want to set up four mana spreaders. All right, we got a decent amount of this living wood going. Now I need to make some endo flames, which will eat the coal. And then in the process, produce mana that we need. So you need one red, one light gray, two brown. Wheat seed, boom, you get it. But I need a bunch. So in order to make the mana pool, which holds the mana that gets shot out of the mana spreader, you need living rock. In order to make living rock, same process with the pure daisies, but you got to use some type of stone. So you just place it around it. And it'll turn it into living rock. While we were messing around getting this living rock and everything else, the petals had the, these two rows of coal growing. And I got 120 blocks so far, which is a decent amount. But I have this other half that I was going to use to grow the actual mystical flowers in. But now that we don't need to do that, we might as well just use this space up and get some more coal going. We got our mana spreaders, the mana pool. So in order to link all this stuff together, you need a wand of the forest. To make that simple, you need three twigs, two pieces of living wood, make a twig, and then two petals. Boom, there's your recipe. All right, so I'm going to kind of have this centralized with my coal there. I put the three mana pools, or four mana pools down in the center here. And then we want to put a block down behind it that you can place your mana spreader on there. Then you take your wand of the forest, shift right click onto the mana spreader, shift right click to the mana pool that you want it to shoot into. Boom, now they're all set up. They're going to shoot the mana into those pools. And now we're going to take the endo flames. We're going to place them around the mana pool, mana spreader rather. And I think I want to go like this. I want to have a thing dropping right here. Yeah, that's how we're going to set these right, up. Now I'm going to make four open crates. We're going to put them behind these. They can drop down the coal, which will be fed in through hoppers. And it'll drop onto a pressure plate with a redstone signal that wraps around to shut it off so it doesn't waste coal. All right, we got the open crates down. Now we can put these pressure plates underneath there. We can take the hoppers. The hopper in right through the back. All right, so this is working where it's automated. The open crate holds doesn't hold any inventory. Whatever you put in there, it drops right away. So the hopper is holding all the coal. It feeds it into the open crate and drops it down onto this pressure plate. The pressure plate, when it has a piece on there, activates a redstone signal. So I have redstone coming off of there. It jumps up on the half slab onto the full block and then put a piece of redstone dust over top of the hopper and that'll stop it from dropping any more pieces. So let me show you how you do that real quick just to clarify it. Piece of redstone, 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 boom, wrap it around the back and then put a placement block down, put your living rock up there just so it matches. Doesn't You can use whatever you want. But I'm just doing it this way just so it matches. And then I had to add a torch here because I got an ugly spot right there. And we don't want none of that. But it's that simple. And now I just got to bring the coal over, tie it into all these hoppers, and then this will all be automated, making us mana. All right, now we just got to hook up item pipes to the coal, feed it over to the hoppers. 
Should be good to go. How do I want to do this? Bring a pipe right over to the middle here, and then we can split off of it. Problem is I won't be able to go into the top of the hopper because I have that redstone there. So this might look a little honky tonky, but that's okay. I like it honky tonky. Let's make sure that works. The only thing we got to do is take the wrench, pipe wrench. Go on to here where it hooks into here. Shift right click. Four items every 20 ticks. Is it feeding that? Yes, it is. Boom. And then that'll stop running. Once all those endo flames have a piece of coal. We'll tie in the other three. It should be good to go. Hopefully this video isn't a little too chopped up. I recorded it throughout the course of the day. And uh, hopefully it helps somebody figure out how to do all this. Because I know I was a little lost. And when I watched YouTube videos about it, I had to hear stories about cats, uncles, stuff you don't even want to watch. So trying to consume all this at one time through these videos was like trying to take a drink of water from a fire hose. It didn't really work. For me, at least. So hopefully this helps somebody. Thanks for checking out the video, y'all. Have fun. Peace!